Hey there, good morning to you. Happy Friday. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Lauber and boy oh boy, it may be chilly outside, but it is beautiful to look at the outside from the inside. So we're bringing you this view of what is soon to be the sunrise over the sparkling city by the sea from the water sky cam there at Whataburger Field. Traffic along the Harbor Bridge moving smoothly, but hey, I've been saying it all morning. This is one of those mornings where auto start is your best friend so you can warm things up. If nothing else, the seat warmers definitely help. We're watching that sunrise to happen in in just less there just over 10 minutes 657 we'll see sunset a little earlier today 535 p.m. and we continue to lose daylight until the winter solstice next month but that sunshine is going to do a whole lot just this morning to help warm us up. We've got pretty calm winds out there where we have a little bit of movement. It's generally from the northwest and that is putting a little bit of a bite in the air for some neighborhoods. Check it out temperatures on the large part in the 40s but there are some places that are feeling even cooler still. So 44 in Robstown feels like 42 because of that slight movement in the air. 46 at the airports feeling like 43. Ingleside, on the other hand, 45 feels true to temperature. And along the immediate coast, those neighborhoods are warmer because the water helps you out helps to insulate things. 58 the temperature in Port A, 64 in the Bluff at NAS Corpus Christi. But we've been saying it, this is really dry air. Feels comfortable during the afternoons, but it's chilly during the mornings. It also is what allows that huge difference between the morning low temperatures in the 40s and the afternoons in the upper 70s, like what we'll see today. So how do we get there between now and then? Our dog walking forecast star Cowboy is ready to giddy up for some temperatures. We're gonna climb from the 40s through the 50s by 8 a.m., 60s by 9 9 a.m. 70s by 11 a.m. and that slight change in wind direction from the east will add a little bit more humidity. So if you're kind of stuffy dealing with the sinuses, a little bit of help, not a whole lot. It's not even enough to help us out with our fire danger situation. We saw some improvements yesterday, but we're still looking at a moderate fire danger across the coastal bend. So please be mindful with any outdoor activities. Avoid things that could set off a fire that can happen very easily. Make sure you don't park in tall grass that's dry. We haven't had much rainfall and don't let any chains drag from the back of the work truck. We tend to see a lot of construction around here, so look around the vehicle before you head out. Now, the question everyone's wondering, how is Thanksgiving looking? Well, we've got a Thanksgiving week preview. Looks to start off warm with highs in the 80s, but we're watching not one, but two cold fronts. The second one, depending on the strength and when it arrives, that could make our turkey day a little bit cooler, but right now it is looking warm with highs in the 80s. So here is that seven day forecast. One more chilly morning on Saturday, lows in the lower 50s, but we're riding high in those upper 80s through next week.